lights are red. When the lights extinguish, we will be away and racing. And they go green. So Philip Enger. Who has to defend? And locks up Sean Edwards on his outside. Now, looked like Sean Edwards was uh, going backwards there. So Enger it is that leads. Sean Edwards back down into third place. Rennie Rast making moves already. So Inga then with all the pressure on Sean Edwards uh, continuing to uh, pressure as well and try and get back. Three abreast then as we see uh, one of the uh, to limit cars uh, very, very wide there. Uh, jostling for position all the way down the uh, grid. Michael Amamola then in the uh, black and orange uh, Porsche. Klaus Backler there battling with uh, Clemens Schmidt. And from our uh, heli shot we can see Amamola there. Off Nathan. Roar past there as Wolf Nathan then in the Upanor car. Klaus Backler out wide. Peter Skarmack we just saw there in the uh, 43 car. Guest driver here this weekend. Just listen to the sound of those. overcast cloud at the moment the uh, track is dry and Philip Enger it is the front pole He is under pressure. Big pressure, big lock up there. But Enger loses out. There we can see the uh, top six. In the early stages, this the uh, first lap of uh, this. race, Philip Eng then led from uh, the off but was uh, constantly under pressure, Sean Edwards lost out in that pressure and is uh, back down into uh, third place brilliant heli shots here and a replay here of the start. Now, uh, there we can see just where all the uh, action came from. Again, seeing it from a different angle here as the cars go very nearly 3-4 uh, abreast there. And it was uh, Sean Edwards then from uh, P2 on the grid that got hung out to dry. Philip Eng there overcooking it but managing to uh, keep the right line.
So back to the action right at the front there in this uh, Porsche Carrera Cup race here on the uh, Nordschleife of the Nürburgring. And Sean Edwards now piling the uh, pressure we can see there from our uh, heli shot. Sean Edwards really putting the pressure on Philip Enger now as Sean Edwards looks for a gap. It's not there. Philip Enger having to defend once again. And now Sean himself under some pressure. And there we can see where the lead was lost. So making their way around this uh, Nordschleife circuit here at the uh, Nürburgring. It is the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup also on track. Don't be alarmed when you maybe see some backmarking Renault Clios and Minis there uh, on the circuit at the same time. But there our uh, race leader. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And what a lead built up already. Edwards once again this is the big battle at the moment it's the battle for second place Sean Edwards continuing to uh, mount the pressure and there you can see uh, second third fourth fifth and six all in a line so Sean Edwards has uh, is usually the case, quietly uh, cautious but perhaps confident going into this. Buoyed by the news, of course, that he makes his Le Mans 24 uh, hour debut uh, later this year. And now Edwards himself under some pressure. Edwards currently in third place, but just look at the lead that has been built up here. Absolutely monstrous. We're zooming in on our second, third place drivers there. Because that is uh, where the action is at the moment. Sean Edwards was uh, challenging. Now, Tim goes through, or does he? This is the battle between Nicky, Tim, and Sean Edwards. Philip Eng in there as well. And Sean Edwards trying to uh, get back on terms. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. So, Estra. Leads then from Eng, from Tim, from Edwards, from Seedler. Brilliant showing from Seedler. Jan van Lagen is sixth with Frommenweiler seventh. But you get the feeling that uh, it's going to change across second, third, and fourth. Kevin Estra has built up an incredible lead of some eight and a half seconds. So, uh, Edwards under pressure from uh, Seedler now. So it's Estra Eng. Then it's uh, Nicky Team. Then it is uh, Sean Edwards. So, brilliant start from uh, Nicky Team from uh, seventh on the grid.
desperately trying to uh, make good. Following the uh, five place uh, grid drop uh, that he took for the uh, skirmish with uh, Rennie Rast at the Lausitz ring. Rast there showing down in uh, eighth place at the moment as Estra flies past my commentary position. Then it's Eng. Oh, and uh, Klaus Backler out onto the grass. Klaus Backler, so much of a feature going into this program with the uh, time he spent with uh, Michael Christensen and uh, just cooking it wrong there and out onto the uh, grass. So the uh, likeable Austrian there. There is uh, Philip Anger then, second place, then Nicky Tim, then Sean Edwards, then Norbert Seidler. As Tim now uh, continues to uh, pile the pressure on to uh, Philip Anger. And there further down the order. battles continue but it's Estra that leads by some margin and a brilliant uh, start from uh, Kevin Estra and there we see Klaus Backler destroying uh, just some of the hoardings but managing to uh, keep it together there's Rennie Rast there's uh, From and Viola. And that's how it happened. But uh, Klaus Backler managing to uh, keep it together and uh, keep it, or get it back onto the track without spinning and losing even more places. So you can just see the first place car going through in our shot now. And this is second, third, fourth, fifth and uh, sixth place so second third fourth fifth you can see from this heli shot at the moment it's uh, philip enger in second place uh, nicky tim then third then we see sean edwards in fourth with uh, norbert seedler fifth and yap van lagen out a shot at the moment in uh, sixth place So Philip Enger then, from his uh, pole position start, was under pressure right from the start. And that pressure, because of a supreme start from uh, Kevin Estra. Fourth in the points going into this race. Had a fourth and a second at the uh, Lausitz ring. Made his intentions felt from uh, row three of the grid, quality day grid five. But got a uh, fantastic start. So Kevin Estra it is that leads. And uh, Philip Anger then, the uh, driver with uh, so, so little experience of this, in fact, took his first steps on this circuit uh, back on Wednesday. Led from pole and is in uh, second position right now. So this then the uh, battle further back. And an off. But 
thankfully uh, keeping it together and being able to get back on. So Frommenweiler and Ammermuller battling. Meantime, just from that shot, it looked like uh, Nicky Team had got past Enger. Hopefully, we'll get a replay of that so we can see how that happened as we see uh, Michael Christensen there going through. Tug there just uh, enough to send him down into the dip and the loss of uh, three or four places there. But more interestingly, it did look from the uh, brief shot we had of the battle. Indeed, it looks like uh, Tim has got past Philip Enger. So Enger now in third with Edwards behind then it's Norbert Seedler so uh, Nicky Tim it is now that is going to be uh, trying to chase down uh, Kevin Estra and indeed is doing so So there is uh, Kevin Estra, our race leader in the Hermes Attempto racing car. And uh, it's going to be teammate Nicky Tim on him as Edwards at last gets past Anger. So Edwards now goes through to uh, third. Remember, Sean Edwards starting from. Uh, Second place on the grid. Philip Eng getting a little bit of a tug there. From Norbert Seidler. Jan van Lagen is behind. So confirmation then of Estra leading with uh, Nicky Tim in second place. Then it is Sean Edwards. Then it's uh, Enger. Then Seidler. Then Jan van Lagen. With Rene Rast then in seventh place. And a mistake there from Norbert Seedler. As he goes off, but gets back on again. There, Jack van Lagen then. And this now, the battle is on for Nicky Tim to try and haul in uh, Kevin Estra. Estra. Tim, then it's Edwards, then Enger. Nicholas Armindo then. And an off there for Harry Colan. And also Christina Nielsen. And uh, big, big damage there for Harry Colan, who uh, hauls himself out of the car. And there, Christina Nielsen. The drivers uh, safely behind the Armco. Their race done and dusted. So we're on lap two of four of this 25.3-kilometre uh, Nordschleife circuit here at the uh, Nürburgring. It is uh, round five of the uh, Carrera Cup 
in support of the 24-hour uh, race which gets underway later on this afternoon. Airborne for Astra, airborne for Tim, airborne for Edwards, the one, two, three, then it's Enger, then it's Seedler. cars absolutely flying around this Nordschleife circuit some 53% of which they can spend flat out and Enger now really really uh, feeling the pressure from uh, Jan van Lagen So Philip Enger then that surprised everyone with his uh, pole sitting lap. Down there in uh, fourth place. Then it's Jan van Lagen, then it's Norbert Seedler. And uh, Jan van Lagen won the I tipped going into this race, took a fifth in uh, race one and a fourth in race two at Lausitzring. Currently uh, third in the points is Jan van Lagen. The FE Racing by Land Motorsport team. So uh, whilst this uh, battle rages, Estra, Tim and Edwards are out on their own. Estra over the uh, last timed lap had uh, last time they crossed the uh, start finish line had something like a 17 and a half second advantage over Nicky Tim but Nicky Tim seemed to be really hauling him in as Jap van Lagen once again uh, takes a look at Philip Enger not able to do anything there but he is uh, definitely keeping him keen and Enger having to uh, defend Jap van Lagen then Desperate to uh, get past. So in shot there, you can see uh, Philip Eng. Then it's uh, Jan van Lagen, then it's Norbert Seedler, then it's Rene Rast. So just into view there is our third place driver right at the bottom of your screen. And then it's uh, fourth, fifth, and uh, sixth places that we're looking at right now through the forest here on the Nordschleife. And there, one of the uh, back marking Renault Cleos, I think that was. Now, I said that at uh, some points, those uh, we've got the uh, Renault Clio Cup and also the Mini Challenge out there on track at the same time, and inevitably. These uh, phenomenally powerful Porsche cars with 450 brake horsepower were going to come across back marking traffic. And indeed they've done so as we stay with the heli shot. We just see uh, Sean Edwards uh, going through in third place. Then it's Philip Enger in fourth. And Enger, the challenge from Jap van Lagen has eased off a bit. Then it's Norbert Seedler, then it's uh, René Rast. Ah, oh, and Rasteg on terms with Norbert Seedler very nearly, only on terms, nearly in the, uh, on the back bumper as well. Leader, second place, and there's Sean Edwards in third. And uh, waved yellows. Jap van Lagen there, taking a look at Philip Enger just at the uh, just at the sight of that flag. Now the waved yellows, of course, for the uh, uh, Christina Nielsen and Harry Colin coming together. You can see the uh, drivers there hanging over the arm coat. So. There's Enger, there's Van Lagen, 
then it's Seedler. Yeah, Van Lagen, Seedler, Renny Rast. And again, a backmarking car. And a backmarking car play into the advantage of Jan Van Lagen. And also to Norbert Seedler. And maybe also for Renny Rast as well. So Van Lagen really able to take advantage of that. So too Seedler. And Philip Enger caught napping. And it was uh, one of the backmarking minis that uh, caused the problem there. But that just a little bit of luck that Jap Van Lagen needed. So uh, there is Van Lagen, we can see him centre shot right now. And there is uh, Philip Enger. And being out dragged by Rennie Rast. Enger tries to move across to shut the door and is able to do so. Carries a load of speed as uh, Van Lagen and Seedler have to slow for another backmarking car. So this the uh, race order the way it looks now with Justin Esther and Tim go through and uh, Sean Edwards. And it looks like uh, Rast is getting past. And look at that move all the way around the outside. Absolutely phenomenal stuff from Rene Rast. So the race order changes quite dramatically. This is now Estra, Tim, then it's Edwards, then it's Rast, then it's Van Lagen. Then Seedler. And then Philip Enger. Seedler takes a look now at uh, yeah, Van Lagen. Van Lagen closes the door. So Rast now able to uh, make haste. Jan van Lagen, this Seedler. And the sound of those uh, Porsches. Schmidt with a, a spin into the Armco there. Clement Schmidt was in the points. He was down there in 10th and just carried too much. You see him just getting sideways there and uh, clatters the Armco. Finds himself uh, spread right across the track. Jan, thankfully, avoiding. Meantime, there's Jack Van Lagen and Norbert Seedler trading. A bit of paint. There's Clemens Schmidt, who's got the car to safety. He's out of it now. What a shame. Clemens Schmidt then, who'd been having a fantastic battle with uh, Ammermuller. Michael Ammermuller. 
his race uh, done now. So, a reminder of the leader then, Kevin Estra. When last across start finish had something like a 26 second advantage over Tim. And there was uh, Rast's move all the way around the outside and got past a lot of them. Van Lagen got just a little bit of a touch from uh, Seidler and Rennie Rast was already committed to the outside and just used it completely to his advantage. Just look at this, stays absolutely committed. Manages to find the grip as Van Lagen gets sideways, piles on the opposite lock, that scrubs some speed off and that was enough uh, for Rennie Rast to uh, go through. And you can just see Rennie Rast there getting past uh, some of the other cars out on track and Seidler tries to get past and does get past uh, Van Lagen as once again the other cars that are out on the circuit at the same time well they've played havoc with uh, some of the uh, Porsche drivers and uh, those Wiley drivers some of them have been able to take advantage of that So now then, uh, it's Seidler ahead of Van Lagen for fourth and fifth. And then that's uh, fifth, sixth and seventh. As uh, Rast is off in the distance in fourth. So uh, Seidler, Van Lagen, then it's Enger. And those other cars. Uh, playing into the hands there of Norbert Seidler. Up until uh, this race, Seidler admitted he was uh, struggling. Struggling to get fine pace. And there we just saw Clemens Schmidt then getting sideways and that's the result of his skirmish into the Armco. That could have been very, very dodgy as he was uh, spread eagled right across the circuit. But thankfully he managed to get the car fired up again and out of uh, danger. But sad to see that Clemens Schmidt race is over. So Seidler then took a seventh and a non-finish in the Lassitz ring. Says he's struggled with uh, setup and tyres this season. Lowly in the points, down there in ninth place. Expected much more. And perhaps the much more that we were expecting from Norbert Seidler, we are beginning to see now. As he is... Uh, showing much more promise on this uh, Nordschleifer. Meantime, you can see just how the other categories that are out here... are playing havoc with the uh, Porsches as they try and find their way through. I'd certainly tell the difference in uh, engine note. Of course the Renaults and the Minis that are out there are in their own race. So, equally, they too don't want to be upset by these uh, phenomenally fast Porsches coming through. Oh! And you can see there just how these other cars can really, really affect the uh, shape of this race. So, there is uh, Harry Colin. And there's Christina Nielsen. Uh, they were both uh, over on the Armco looking uh, reasonably okay. But off to the arm, oh, we've got a wheel off there. Now, that's Nikki Tim. What has happened to cause that? Nicky Tim then, who was in uh, 
second place. Clearly isn't now. As the flag goes down and so much drama at the end of this race. You can see the cars having to battle with the other categories that are out there on circuit as well. And it's going to be a drag to the line. Edwards takes second, Seidler takes third, Van Lagen fourth. Then it's Enger, then it's Ammermuller, but where's Rast in that graphic? Well, extraordinary scenes right at the uh, end of this race. As the uh, checkered flag goes out. Now, I'm really, really confused and I'm the first to admit that. The timing screen now telling me Rasta lap down. So there is Rast. So, uh, according to the race control screen I have, it's Estra from Edwards, then it's Seedler, then it's Van Lagen, then it's Philip Enger, then Michael Ammermuller, and then Tim managing with a wheel off to get across the line, presumably in uh, seventh place. But what is confusing me, and you'll have to forgive me, is where Rennie Rast featured in that. And if Rennie Rast really was a lap down, if so, then we'd all got it wrong during the course of the race. <sighs> OK, into part Ferme, the cars come then. And we will get uh, confirmation, and uh, my apologies if I've led you to believe that uh, he was in there, but, well, you can see uh, his car there, I, I'm really struggling to think he was a lap down but uh, that's what the screen is telling me and uh, that is the official word so that's the one we have to go with showing and you'll see that wheel come off there it goes so then the uh, race done and dusted the result subject to uh, confirmation and we will get that confirmation of course the uh, podium ceremonies to come. Two podiums, of course. Uh, podium for the A category and also for the B category. And uh, haven't really uh, looked at the B category uh, too much, for which I apologise, but have been so, so wrapped up in everything else that's been going on. We will see. In any event, it's a fine effort for uh, Kevin Estra. Who takes the uh, checkered flag. And this I'm really interested to see, a replay of the... Uh, and Sean Edwards going through to take second and right I have been vindicated <laughs> as it now shows Estra Edwards and Rene Rast which is uh, what I thought was the case because Rast was defending so hard against Seidler as they crossed the line but for some reason the timing screen had Rast as being a lap down which I, I couldn't believe there's no way I wouldn't have noticed that Rast was missing for a lap <sighs> 
Right, confirmation then of the result. Kevin Estra takes the win from Sean Edwards in second place, Rennie Rass third, Norbert Seidler fourth, Jack Van Lagen fifth, creditable sixth from Philip Eng, who led from pole, uh, Michael Amamuller seventh, Nicky Tim in eighth place, crossing the line without a wheel, then it's Christensen, then it's Frommenweiler, then Thomas Pivoda, Nicholas Kentenich, then 12th place, Klaus Backler, who we saw featured pre-race in 13th with Elia Erhardt, David Jahn and uh, Clemens Schmidt. David Jahn and Clemens Schmidt both out. So, uh, apologies for the uh, earlier confusion when uh, our race control timing screen seemed to suggest that Rennie Rast was a lap down, which I hope you... Uh, <laughs> I hope you accepted that I tried very hard not to believe that and uh, I'm glad I have been vindicated now and that uh, confirmation is there that the 1-2-3 then Estra Edwards and Rast and the 1-2-3 in the B category well it's uh, going to be Peter Skarmack that takes the win in the B category then Herbert Voss, Voss the boss will take a second and uh, in uh, third place, it will be Pascal Boer, the uh, French driver. Along with uh, our uh, second place uh, B category driver. Sharmak. Uh, uh, guesting this weekend for showing in the uh, Carrera Cup then for uh, Sharmak then, who... Uh, takes the win in the B category. Uh, Herbert Voss then uh, second in the B category and then it's Boer. Pascal Boer who takes third as you can see. Uh, the relics of Klaus Backler's skirmish onto the grass being picked up and interestingly that's right in front of our uh, comms box. So we can see those marshals hard at work there picking up the uh, like polystyrene doesn't it because it's certainly shattered as Klaus Backler put his uh, Carrera Cup car through it but uh, showed uh, fantastic control in terms of uh, keeping it uh, pointing the right way on the grass there just to one of our helicam helicopters bringing us some fantastic shots for which we uh, thank the team the only possible way to uh, cover such a huge uh, circuit there Christina Nielsen and uh, Harry Colan's car then Despite the length of the circuit, what a tremendous race. As we take a look at some of the highlights, as we get ready for our podium. Some fantastic images of uh, people enjoying themselves. There's Norbert Seidler then. Ended up finishing in uh, fourth place. Some more of the uh, race fans as the uh, Porsches go roaring through. So Kevin Esther it was that uh, got the better of uh, Philip Anger. Jostling for position there between uh, Tim and Edwards. And there's Klaus Bachler destroying those advertising hoardings that I was talking about just moments ago. Rennie Rast from a Weiler. Clemens Schmidt going through there as well. And Klaus Bachler, that's what caused him to get off onto the grass and uh, blitz those signs. He managed to keep it uh, pointing the right way. And that was the Harry Colon, Christina Nielsen uh, coming together. 
Thankfully we see Harry Colan getting out of the car. Ilya Erhart there. And that, an absolutely astounding move from Rennie Rast all the way around the outside as Clement Schmidt then took to the arm coat. Thankfully got out of harm's way. And the checkered flag falls for Kevin Estra. And delight from his uh, pit crew, as you can see. Kevin Estra absolutely uh, thrilled with that. And the car's making their way back to Park Fermi. And this is where the confusion reigns supreme when Rennie Rast, for some reason, had been taken out of the order at that point. But it all got sorted out in the end. Congratulations all round. So then, just a few of the highlights then from uh, what has been <laughs> a very, very exciting race. And uh, there'll be some interesting uh, changes in the uh, points. So podiums to come then, uh, two podiums of course. Podium for the uh, A category, a podium for the uh, B category as well. As you can see, uh, frantic work going on in the paddock. And I remind you that uh, next up for the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup Germany is the uh, Red Bull Ring in Austria at the beginning of June. So fans filling the place. The uh, Porsche Carrera Cup race, one of the support races ahead of the 24-hour uh, race. The Nürburgring 24 hours, which gets underway a little later this afternoon. So confirmation then, Estra Edwards and uh, Rast, the one, two, three, that we will be seeing on the podium in the A category of uh, Porsche Cup drivers. Then in the uh, B category, it'll be uh, Sharmak, Voss the Boss, and uh, Bua that will be uh, taking the silverware and taking some very, very damaged cars back to the paddock in due course. Then uh, Christina Nielsen's car and Harry Colan's car there, following there, coming together which ended up in the Arnco. So the sun comes out now. It was overcast at the start of the race, but the sun is shining now. As once again, we see the uh, damaged cars of uh, Colin and Nielsen which will be recovered in due course but thankfully uh, despite both the drivers uh, jumping into the ambulance they both appeared to be okay so jolly long way from uh, the paddock up to the podium which is why it's uh, taken a little bit of a time for the uh, podium to get underway but we will be there in just a, a few moments and I think we're uh, there we are podium there it is Kevin Estra Sean Edwards and Rene Rast national anthem time
So Kevin Estra, the national anthem plays for uh, Kevin. Alongside him then, uh, Sean Edwards and uh, Rene Rast. So Kevin Estra then, whose uh, trophy is presented by Lutz Meschka, the um, director of finance for Porsche, who made his first visit here last year and was so, so thrilled with the time he had here. Became a uh, motorsport fan and uh, just wanted to be back. Harmut Christen, then motorsport director, presents uh, second place. And then Rene Rast then with his third place trophy. Once again to be presented by uh, Lutz Meschka. And there the uh, one, two, three. Kevin Estra, Sean Edwards and Rene Rast. So been a uh, very, very good day's work for the uh, Team Deutsche Post by To Limit. With both Edwards and Rast on the podium and good for Hermes Attempto Racing as well with uh, Estra on the top step. Who will be first? Well, Kevin Estra then it was. Renny Rast is just going to keep the bottle. As he, oh no, there he is went off camera to uh, open his bottle for some reason. So the one, two, three in the A category then in the uh, Porsche Carrera Cup. There is uh, Kevin Estra, the winner.